What's up everybody? Today we're going to do some playing card photography and today we're going to be using these rose gold David Blaine Gator Bags. So today's video is featuring these rose gold David Blaine Gator Bags and I got this deck from The Card In, so I'll leave a link below so you can check it out. They have a massive range of cards on there, uh, sort of, you can get your Nox, you can get your David Blaine Gator Bags, they've got a lot of OPC playing cards, and just a massive variety of different things. I originally found James and The Card In on eBay when I was searching for playing cards. I bought a deck of Nox, and when I got the deck of cards through the post, it came with a, a little note from the card in saying thank you for your purchase, it was really personalised and just fantastic. So from there I went to the website and I saw about the card in unboxing experience and also I did a video on that so check out the link. And I saw these David Blaine Rose Gold Gator Backs and also the silver ones, so I had to get some. Now it's time to take them out the, the deck and take some photographs of them I think. So before I do the photo shoot, I just thought I'd do a, a quick unboxing of the deck itself. And the, the deck itself feels really, really nice. It's like a, a weird paper card with a embossed material. As you can see, it's the, the rose gold and shines fantastic in the light. You see on the side, it's got the United States Playing Card Company. On the bottom there it's got distributed by Split Spades, New York. And obviously the back design is a lovely rose gold with that embossed design. And on the other side, DB Productions, David Blaine Productions, and Mark Stutzman. And on the top, it's got Gator Backs. And obviously on the front you can see there it's got Gator Backs playing cards and the little alligator there really nice so when you're not in the light it just looks a bit flat and you can just see the alligator but as soon as you put the light on it you can see all of the, the detail on it and obviously you open up the top case see there made in the USA it's got David's logo on and there you can see on the inside there's actually a card reveal on the top case so you've got the spade and the eight. So you've got the eight spades reveal. And also that. So we'll just open it up. And take out the cards. You can see there the cards feel really nice. And the, the rose gold is just lovely. See it glistening in the light. Feel really nice to handle. So you can see there, there's the first Joker. David Blaine with the alligator. And David Blaine's daughter with the alligator. And here's the spades, nice personalised. See there, gator back number 127. You got the alligator with the bird coming out. And obviously, it's a stacked deck, so it's not in your standard deck order. You can see there, the Queen of Spades has an actual card reveal in her hands, so she's got an Ace of Heart. Another personalised Queen of Diamonds. Jack of Spades. Jack of Clubs. King of Hearts. Jack of Diamonds. King of Spades, King of Diamonds, Jack of Hearts, King of Clubs, and Queen of Clubs, Queen of Hearts, and also all the two of the cards there. So yeah, they all look really nice, they handle really nice, feel nice, they look really nice on camera. Especially shining them in the light. So yeah, they're looking really nice. And I think it's time to 
take some pictures of them. I'm going to just get set up and I'm going to take some pictures of these. I had an idea in mind because of the rose gold I'm going to go with some complementary light colours and also the green is sort of a representation of an alligator because generally alligators are green. I have a frosted glass door essentially and I'm going to place that down. I'm going to place the light underneath which is the green light and that's going to light up underneath and at the side I'll have another light possibly I might go for a yellow because I think it'll look quite nice with them all together and just snap away and get some pictures and see what they look like. So it's time to get set up. So this is where we're currently at. We have a box here and a chair here. We have the, the glass frosted door that I was on about. Uh, just put them between the two chairs so we can get a light in underneath and just light it up. So we'll get that set up now. First light on the setup, I have a Godox AD200. I've got the green gel, so that's going to go underneath and that's going to give the sort of backlit effect on the playing cards. So what we're going to do is take a quick test shot and see how it looks like. Today we're shooting with the Fuji X-H1 and I'll probably score between the 23mm and the 50 to 140. So you can see, test picture, sort of like quite nice green eyes, that looks quite nice. Yeah, it's got more of a, a gradient on that, so I'm happy with that. And now it's just to insert the front light, which is going to go on there. I think I'm going to go for the beauty dish. So just do some fun at different couple of angles. I'm just going to that like that, just so the light can come off this beauty dish here, hit the side of the deck. So what I've done is just switched out to the 50 to 140 over the 23mm, just so I can get in a bit closer and get some more detail. I'll just spin that on the other way. As you can see, just need to move the beauty dish around a bit just to give it that extra bit of fill light. So I'll just get a couple more just with the deck open. I'm just going to grab some of these cards which have the designs on. So then like that, I'll just do a quick test shot. Yeah, it's looking really nice out, just picking up all the detail of the cards. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that quick photo shoot. Just took a, a few snaps of the cards and things like that. And I've actually had one of these made on the 3D printer, which is a card deck holder, and it's a nice gold one. So I thought it would go well with the, uh, the rose gold.
fits in there perfectly. If there's any other decks that you want us to review or photograph or see up in further detail on the camera, then drop a comment below and I'll see what I can do. Until next time, see ya.